If you want your volt sprays to have zero recoil just like this, you've come to the right place. I'll show exactly how to counteract the volt's recoil pattern on controller with the exact thumbstick positioning for both classic and linear players. And if you play mouse and key, I have two mouse cam POVs to show my recoil control with the Volt at ridiculous ranges just like this. I'm Pesky Frank and today I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to master the Volt. But first, let's talk about the Volt stats to see how it compares to the other SMGs. The Volt does 23 damage to the head, 15 to the body, and 12 to the legs. The Volt has a rate of fire of 720 rounds per minute. This makes the Volt the third fastest SMG in the game. But rate of fire isn't as important as the damage per second. The Volt has a damage per second of 180, which is in third place of all the SMGs, barely beating the Prowler's damage per second. Now I made this chart right here that breaks down the Volt's damage much further. The green numbers on the left show how much damage one bullet does to each part of the body. The blue numbers show how many bullets it takes to down somebody with the different level of helmets and different levels of shields. And the red numbers are the number of shots it takes to kill the fortified legends who take 15% less incoming damage. Damage. This chart took a really long time to make, so make sure you leave a like on this video and send this video to your friends. There are four attachment slots available on the Volt, and they are the Laser, Magazine, Optic, and Stock. Without a mag, the Volt only holds 19 bullets, but can hold a max of 26 with a purple or gold mag. You can only put five optics on the Volt. Quick three random facts you should know about guns in Apex Legends. If you reload with at least one bullet left in your mag, you'll reload about 30% faster than if your mag was empty. This is called a tactic. Tactical reload. 2. Did you know that each SMG actually has a different reload speed? The Volt has the fastest reload speed while the Prowler has the slowest of all SMGs. And 3. After 38 meters, SMGs no longer do headshot damage. They do the same amount of damage to the head as they do to the body. So if you're farther than 38 meters, make sure you aim for the body because there isn't that headshot multiplier for the SMGs anymore. Now when it comes to mastering the Volt's recoil, it's very important that we know that weapons in Apex Legends have Bloom. Bloom is basically the randomness of your bullet and this is why when you shoot your gun at the wall the recoil pattern is a tiny bit different every single time if you want to know more about bloom and want a detailed breakdown of all the secret things that attachments actually do to your gun check out this video right here the link is in the description below now if you already know about bloom you know that the only way to reduce the amount of bloom is with a barrel stabilizer and of course the Volt doesn't have a slot for that. So we can't control the amount of bloom, but we can control the Volt's general recoil pattern. But what's the general recoil pattern? Like I said before, every time you spray a gun in Apex, the guns make the same general recoil shape, but there is some slight variance due to bloom. So I shot at this wall and I found the average of the Volt sprays, and this is what the average recoil spray pattern looks like for the Volt. This is called the general recoil shape. And if we do the opposite of the general recoil shape, we get zero recoil. Now to make the Volt's recoil easier to control, we can break down this shape into three smaller shapes. The first shape has 11 bullets and moves down and slightly to the left. The second shape is 8 bullets that makes this U shape. And the third shape is 7 bullets and moves back to the right. Now in order to completely eliminate the Volt's recoil, you need to pull down on your thumbstick or your mouse and try to make these three shapes. Now that we know what the general recoil shape for the Volt looks like, what is the best way to practice recoil control? Go to the range and stand over here. Most people struggle with the vertical portion of recoil control, so we're going to start with the first shape only. And we're going to shoot only 11 bullets at the wall like this. Whoa, 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 hold on. Before we practice recoil control, there are two extremely important settings you need to change. Go to your settings, go to video, and scroll all the way down till you see impact marks. Make sure this is turned to high so that we can see the bullet holes in the wall. Second, go to your custom range settings and turn on hit markers. These two settings are crucial to improving your recoil control much quicker because it allows you to better visualize your recoil. Okay, now let's practice the Volt's recoil pattern. Stand still and shoot only 11 bullets and pull down into the left and try to make this shape. You want to make your bullets to be close together like this, but most likely it kind of looks like this. So how do we make our grouping much tighter? Well, when you're shooting at the wall, really focus on your crosshair and check to see which shots you're missing. If your crosshair is jumping up with the first few shots, this means you need to pull down earlier or a little bit more. If your crosshair is jumping up in the middle or to the end, this means you're pulling at an inconsistent speed. Being able to make adjustments based on your crosshair's position is a major skill in Apex, and it takes hundreds of hours of practice 
to master, so don't expect to be perfect right away. Now for controller players, let's take a look at this window right here. This shows exactly what I'm doing on my controller. If you had a perfect controller, your thumbsticks would all say 0.000, but since no controller is perfect, the thumbsticks are going to be off by like 0.02, like in my case. If you want to use this website for yourself, the link will be in the description below, right beside that subscribe button. Now for this video, I only use two different controller setups, 4.3 Classic No Dead Zone and 4.3 Linear Small Dead Zone. These two are the most popular controller setups and there are way too many combinations for me to test them all. But if you play in something close, you can use these as reference. Let's start with 4.3 Classic No Dead Zone. If you want to counteract the Volt's first 11 bullets, you want to pull your right thumbstick down and to the left to around negative 0.02 and 0.40. Now if you play on 4.3 Linear Small Dead Zone, which is the meta controller sense right now that every pro player is switching to, you want to pull your right thumbstick down and slightly to the left to around negative 0.01 and 0.20. Now remember, when you're practicing, make sure you're paying attention to which shots you're missing. It took me about 20 minutes of practice till I finally got that first shape right. Now if you're a mouse and keyboard player like me, controlling recoil is going to be very easy because we have our whole arm to aim. I play on 800 DPI with a 1.1 in-game sensitivity. Now I actually use a per optic settings as you can see right here. Basically, I play on a really low sensitivity and I just wanted to show these numbers so you can compare your mouse movements to mine. Now when we're trying to pull down for the first 11 shots, we want to pull down and slightly to the left with a slow and consistent speed. I am ever so slightly moving my arm straight backwards while I pull the mouse backwards and slightly to the left with my fingers. This takes a lot of trial and error, but after about 20 minutes of practice, you're going to be very happy with your grouping. Now before I move on to the next step, make sure you're consistently getting a tight grouping with the first shape. Now we're actually not going to shoot at this wall anymore, we're going to come back to the main area of the range over here. We're going to be shooting the entire gold mag into this blue target while we're standing about 25 meters away, which is right around here. This next exercise is going to work on your ability to react to your crosshairs position. Now take a listen to this click track. The first click is when we start shooting. The second click is when the recoil pattern moves to the left. The third click is when the pattern goes back to the right. And the final click is when the recoil pattern moves back to the left. Essentially, each click is when you need to change directions. If you like this click track and you want to download a one minute loop of it, join my Discord server where you can find the download there. Now for the controller players, I'm not going to tell you exactly where you need to put your right thumbstick because it's more important to know when to move your thumbstick, not where to move it. Your goal should be to hit 500 on this target from about 25 meters away. Once you can hit 500, it's time to move on to the next step. Stand in the middle of the range here, which is about 60 meters away from this target, and try to hit above 350. In order to hit more than 350 on this target, you need to hit all 26 bullets. This is actually pretty hard, but if you take it slow and use the click track, you'll get it in no time. Now, after you can hit 350 on this target, it's time to move to the final step, actually shooting the dummy. Put the dummy on red armor and stand still, and only hit headshots from about 25 meters away. At this point, you should be able to easily kill this dummy with only one meg. If you haven't noticed yet, we've only been shooting at stationary targets and we haven't been moving. This is very important because we don't want to activate recoil smoothing when trying to learn the recoil pattern. If you don't know what recoil smoothing is, it's an in-game mechanic that eliminates your weapon's recoil to make tracking moving targets much easier. If you want to learn more about recoil smoothing, check out this video right here. And if this is the best recoil control video you've ever seen, make sure you leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to see future tutorials just like this one.